Hello, in this series of videos I will introduce what the Stein Lab does and why we are interested in what we do. I will start with our recent publication Neuromodulation to the Rescue – Compensation of Temperature-Induced Breakdown of Rhythmic Motor Patterns via Extrinsic Neuromodulatory Input. We published this paper in PLAS Biology and the authors were Carola Städtele, Stefanie Heigele and myself. I am Wolfgang Stein and I run the Crab Lab at Illinois State University. One of our interests is to understand how the nervous system creates and controls rhythmic activity. Rhythmic activity is generated either by individual neurons or groups of neurons that autonomously produce rhythmic changes of their membrane potential. I'm going to depict rhythmic activity here as this wave of electrical activity that occurs in neurons. Changes in the electrical activity underlie all communication in the nervous system and from the nervous system to the muscles. We call neurons that autonomously produce rhythmic activity central pattern generators or CPGs. CPGs drive our most vital behaviors such as locomotion and breathing. Many pathological conditions occur due to failures of producing rhythmic activity and it is of particular interest to understand why central pattern generators sometimes fail to produce activity and how activity can be restored. Temperature changes are a particular challenge for the nervous system, as all chemical and biological processes depend on temperature. In many cases, it's completely unclear how the nervous system responds to changes in temperature. There are many indications that the human nervous system cannot tolerate large changes in temperature, which is why having hypothermia or fever affect cognitive functions. In contrast, many invertebrate animals seem to tolerate much larger temperature fluctuations. Our interest in temperature effects on the nervous system stems from the observation that there is a correlation between the occurrence of sudden infant death syndrome and preventing temperature regulation in infants, for example by excessive wrapping of the baby's head. The breathing system is a CPG in the brainstem and in case of sudden infant death syndrome, it fails to function. We are using a central pattern generator in the crustacean nervous system as a model to study temperature effects on central pattern generators. In our experiments, we used a rhythmically active central pattern generator and increased the temperature by only a few degrees and immediately observed that rhythmic activity stopped. I'm going to depict this here with a flat line. We then set out to test why rhythmic activity failed and how to revert the effects. In our experiments, we measure the ionic currents of an individual central pattern generating neuron. If neurons function appropriately, they maintain a balance of ionic currents across their cell membrane, meaning that currents of ions that enter the cell are balanced with those leaving the cell. When we then increased the temperature, we found that this caused an imbalance of the ionic currents. The temperature changes caused more ionic currents to leave the cell, making the cell more leaky. Imagine a water balloon and punching holes into it. With too many holes, the balloon cannot maintain its size. Similarly, all electrical responses in the cell become very small and eventually flatline. The leak current short circuits the membrane, causing rhythmic activity to collapse. This was an important step to understand why the nervous system can fail at elevated temperatures. The question now arose how this can be repaired. The crabs that we used for our experiments tolerate a large temperature range, so we suspected that they have a mechanism to counteract the increase in the leak. Indeed, we found that when the temperature increases, other neurons increase the release of substances that we call neuromodulators. Neuromodulators such as dopamine and serotonin and peptides modify neuronal responses and they are generically being used by neurons that control central pattern generators. We found that the release of these modulators opposes the leak in the cell membrane. It counterbalances the leak and essentially patches the cell membrane. With this, the cell returned to its balance of ionic currents and was able to restore its rhythmic activity. Since the functional mechanisms of all central pattern generators are similar in all animals, this novel mechanism to counterbalance detrimental temperature effects can now be tested in mammalian central pattern generators as well, for example, in the breathing system. <laughs>